Hi everybody and welcome to this opening round playthrough video for Pro Division Shredder Slopes Tournament on of course the Grunberg Slopes. Six holes per video so there will be three of them up on the channel make sure you check them all out. Thumbs up please will be massively appreciated and please do make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Loads of links in the video description down below, plenty of tutorials on the channel homepage to help you improve your gameplay. Finally, join us on our Facebook group, search for BK Golf Clash. Loads of free content and shop sharing going on there. Wonderful supportive community awaiting you, so please do join us there as well. Good luck in your rounds and here we go with the replays and my adjustments. Nasty wind angle on this par 4 here, so I'm going to suggest a kingmaker. Playing with uh, extra mile level 8 with 6 bars of topspin, you can do this shot with 4.5 bars of topspin. If that's all you have, though, just go with a little bit more overpower, so just have that said. Uh, setting up just around plus 9, top of plus 9 here with extra mile level 8. And we're going 6 topspin and 2 side spin to the right, aim down the middle. Adjust max plus 20. Takes me into two rings of overpower, add one ring on, no curl, and then of course we do want to hit perfect. If you're playing extra mile six or seven, I will go with one more ring of overpower to compensate for not having six bars of topspin available. Then we are going to bounce very nicely and get smack bang in the middle of the two patches of rough. Down the fairway, drive distance around 350, going to be absolutely fine. Second shot, counting rings from min. So find the minimum distance line and count rings until you find the position here that I am using. So that's 5, that's 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, bullseye on the beginning of the green. So at the bottom of the yellow ring, just past the fringe line. It is hard to see here. Then we're going to apply backspin. Have the ball guide a good one square through the hole. I'm just less than that here and we do just trickle over the edge. So make sure the ball guide, if you've got... A decent ball guide on your thorn is going through the hole at least one green square. Then we're going to just rings from min minus 10 elevation. 1% slider per ring from min. So here for 13 rings from min, play 13% slider. More info on all of that on the Academy Tutorial playlist. Perfect ball drops right at pin for the eagle. Crosswind here on this par 5. Playing with a Titan, and again, six bars of topspin is ideal. But if you don't have that, you can play with a big topper, or you could um, go with four and a half topspin and play with a little bit of overpower. The choice is yours here, but obviously, six bars of topspin is ideal if you have it. Aim down the middle of the right hand fairway, adjust max plus 10. Then I do adjust into overpower, so I do add a little bit on, about half a ring here. Perfect ball away, and we want to get this one down nicely. Drive distance, anywhere around 380 yards is fine. Like I said, if you don't have uh, six bars of topspin on your extra mile, you could be trying a big topper here. Second shot, I'm going to find minimum distance line, so make sure you got the grizzly. Then I push up 10 rings from min. That means I'm always going to use 25% slider, so that's in between min and mid. And I would suggest you go with minus 5% elevation. Add spin, but leave the ball guide short. The reason I do that is we adjust up the slope here, which is going to add distance to our shot. So 25% slider, minus 5. I play with power 3 numbers here, but this one is just under adjusted. So I would suggest try this one with power 4, or even power 5 settings. That is going to add 0.1 or 0.2 to the adjustment here. Bounces nicely and the speed is good, just need a little bit of a tweak there, but a very good look at an albatross here on this par 5. I'm going to show you an attempt at the rough bump here with the quarterback. Best chance for a hole in one, but obviously if you don't want to do that, you can bounce over with your sniper instead. Uh, here I go with 0.6 backspin and 2.2 side spin to the right. However, we do need to tweak this while I've been missing left. So I would suggest go with a couple of clicks more side spin to the right. Set up their bullseye right in the middle of that patch of rough and uh, the ball guide as shown. But obviously with a couple of clicks more side spin, you will be aiming a little bit more right. The adjustment is mid distance, 10% elevation, power two numbers. That is equivalent to 1 to 1 minus 0.2. So if you don't want to use the calculator, you can just take the wind, 
value minus 0.2 and there you go. Just missing to the left so tweak the side spin and that will be in. On this par 4 we have crosswind and I'm going to go with a katana because I've been using a couple of kingmakers already. 6 top spin, 3 right spin. Again if you don't have 6 top spin you can play with power 3 ball and go with a little bit of overpower if you want to as well. Max plus 10, pushing the rings to adjust, otherwise the trees will be in the way. After I've done that, I push back up to max. Here, um, I go with a little bit of overpower just to gain a few more yards. And we want to hit perfect, of course. Uh, this is quite a narrow line. Perfect ball away, though, does come in very nicely. You can play with a couple of clicks only of right curl if you are worried about hitting a great left or rolling into the rough, but here we are absolutely fine, and we're gonna use a rough check for the second shot. So move the target up, find where the bullseye is over the rough, and look at the plus yards. Here I am at plus one, I'm playing a no spin shot. Leave the ball guide a little bit short of the cut because we do have tailwind, which is gonna push us a little bit further on, so make that compensation there where your ball guide is. I'm going to give you a tweak here because we do drop this right side. Um, for a plus one rough check, play 48% slider, zero elevation. So plus one, 48% slider, zero elevation. I have confirmed this one in live play as well. So the tweak does drop it right at the pin. Perfect ball away. You can see there, just sneaking it in right edge. That's because I went 52 slider, which is why I suggest go with 48. Rough bump time here, absolute money shot. We've been using this before with this wind angle and also in expert division. Three and a half top spin, two side spin to the right. Katana ball is absolutely fine, but you can drop to a kingmaker if you have high wind. Just make sure you have room to adjust. Should be fine though in this wind angle because it's more crosswind than tailwind. So in a green ring, touching the rough ball guide, going just through the hole. Adjustment minimum distance, zero elevation, but power five numbers. So minimum distance, zero elevation, power five numbers. Uh, this was my first attempt in practice, dropped it, and in tournament play, dropped it also as well. So two for two on this one, absolute money shot if you hit this one perfect, and adjust it well. Lovely chance for a hole in one. Hole number six usually is just an eagle hole, and it really still is an eagle hole, but there is a small chance of an albatross actually in this wind angle. Um, Titan, six top spin, two right spin. Again, same applies as before. You could use the big topper here, or you could go with um, lower level extra mile as well. Um, but adjust max 10, push up to max, and aim down the middle. Perfect ball away here is important, especially with extra mile. We don't want to go with any great balls here. It does risk clipping the rough. Lower level extra mile, you do have room for a ring of overpower if you want to gain some distance. But six bars of top spin is great because we can get to over 400 yards. Second shot, I do use the big dog. Interestingly enough, if you want, you could even try a berserker here um, with a sniper and try and attack the pin for the albatross. But even with a big dog, and a power three ball, you're gonna have a good look at it, to be honest. Two and a half backspin here, two left spin. We're gonna aim as shown, aiming at the fringe there with a little bit of the red ring inside the rough at max. Obviously, you may need to tweak your backspin depending on your drive. Max plus 10 is the adjustment here. Then we are gonna go with curl. About half a ball of curl to the left. Difficult to dial this one in with this club because of the ball guide. But a perfect ball is going to secure the eagle. And we do actually come pretty close for this hole to getting the albatross. So you may get lucky with a minus three. But very, very easy way to secure the eagle nonetheless.